mums. Welcome to episode 7. Don't forget, we still have a mum online during lockdown period from Monday to Friday, 9 to 5 to chat. I wish to thank each and every one of you. I wanted to say well done for keeping it together so far. Hopefully the tools that we've shared with you will help you in ways to try and keep healthy in mind, body and heart during this time. As I've mentioned before, please try and keep a routine for yourself. Make a space and time just for you to set your intentions for the day. Take a breather and just just focus on the important things. Trust me, you need it, mum, and your family will be better off for it. Now that the lockdown has been extended, you may need to create this routine for yourself. Watch the space. Mumspiration.com is here for you and will continue to inspire you, grow with you. We can do this life. We can do this beautiful thing called motherhood during lockdown and beyond. As mums, we sometimes doubt ourselves. We don't always have the answers. And so I just wanted to let you know that sometimes it's okay to just let it be. Thank you for watching. I'm La Anne. See you soon. When I find myself in times of trouble, Mother Mary comes to me, speaking words of wisdom, let it be. And in my hour of darkness, she's standing right in front of me, speaking words of wisdom, let it be, let it be, let it be. Digestive problems are so common that many of us take them for granted. These women have found a solution. I used to suffer from really bad stomach cramps, bloating. I've been suffering with constipation. I had to stay away from certain foods. The clock house three months pregnant. Malkasan tackled all my issues at the same time and very quickly. My life changed. I became regular. Now stomach is much flatter. Once my problems were gone, my confidence just went up. <laughs> there you have it. For better digestive health, try Malkasan. Hello moms, welcome to the seventh episode of the Momspiration virtual series. My name is Maria Padime, I'm a business and leadership coach, medical doctor and mom. Now as we know the 21 day lockdown has been extended for a further two weeks and who knows what will happen when we get to the end of April and perhaps new decisions will need to be made. But Irrespective of the kinds of decisions that need to be made come the end of this extension, one thing is certain. This crisis will end. This too shall pass. What is also certain is that when we are finally allowed to <laughs> roam free and the children can go back to school, that the world that we'll go back into won't be exactly the same as the world that we are leaving behind. So my question for you today is, what are you doing to prepare yourself for that new world? How are you reinventing yourself, reinventing your life, reinventing how you live and work so that you are better able to thrive in that new world? So today I'd like to offer you 
three questions to ponder, to reflect on as we prepare ourselves for that new world. So firstly, I invite you to ask yourself, what do I need to let go of? What have I been holding on to for too long that I cannot take with me into this new world? Second question, what do I need to allow in? What's been knocking on my door that I perhaps have been afraid to embrace and allow in? What do I need to let in in order to help me to move forward into this new world? And then thirdly, what have I learned? This has been an incredible time. It continues to be an incredible time for all of us. What are you learning? What are you seeing about yourself, your life, that you hadn't seen before, that this extraordinary situation has enabled you to see? And how can you use those lessons to enrich how you choose to move forward into this new world? I wish you everything of the best as you ponder and reflect on where you are and where you want to be. And I wish us all the very best as we venture into this uncertain but exciting new world. From me, bye-bye. Hello, Dr. Daycare. The new range of Dr. Daycare syrup has been specifically formulated for kids as a tasty, tooth-friendly syrup. Feeling better has never tasted so good. Hi, moms. Hopefully, in a little while, we'll be beginning to venture outside of our homes again. But as I'm sure you've already figured out, the world will be going back to is not the one we left a few weeks ago. For our kids especially, adjusting to the new norms is going to take a bit of time and some forethought on our behalf as their parents. If we as adults feel bewildered, just imagine how much more frightening the world can seem for our little ones at a time like this. With this in mind, here are just two ways we can make our kids' reintroduction to the outside world hopefully a smoother one. The first is to make space for negative emotions. In my opinion, there is one thing worse than feeling negative emotions, and that's the belief that negative feelings, feelings of sadness, anxiety, fear, anger are intrinsically bad. Sometimes without really even knowing it, we can teach our kids that it's right and good to be happy and wrong to be sad. But the truth is, we are all in the need of all our emotions to feel fully human, and we need to acknowledge and make space for the full range in us and in our children. A wise proverb says that a worry shared is a worry halved. And in this time, when negative emotions are bound to bubble up in our kids, let's make sure we're listening twice as much as we're offering advice. Let's really be intentional about creating some safe space in the next few days and weeks to hear how our kids are really feeling and to let them know that whatever that is, it's okay. Finally, as we prepare our kids for the brave new world, make sure to take some time to talk about masks. During the early days of this lockdown, I had the misfortune of having to take one of my kids out of the house. It was a medical emergency. Making our way to where we needed to go, we passed a lot of people wearing masks and I happened to look back at my child's face and the look on that face nearly broke me. Their eyes were so wide and I realized in that instant how scary this must be for them entering a foreign world where now nobody can see each other's face and smiles are covered wherever you and your family land on the use of masks for the next while at least they are going to be all around us so rather than just expecting your kids to just deal with this let's prepare them well beforehand one way you can do this is to talk to your kids about why people everywhere are now wearing masks. Don't just take it for granted that they are going to understand. I plan on telling my kids that these people are actually superheroes in disguise. I plan on telling them that every time they see someone wearing a mask, that person is doing what they think is best to keep the bad germs away from the others. I'll tell them that although they can't see most of the person's face, you can bet they're smiling underneath those masks because they're the kind of people who love enough to go out of their way to protect others. 
I'll take this time to also tell my kids that although we're not allowed to high five others at the moment, when we see these caped crusaders, we can give them a big thumbs up so that they know we're all in this together. <laughs>If your child is not growing well, she may not be eating well and can become sickly. That's why PediaSure has 26 key nutrients to help support height, weight and immunity. Start to see visible growth in eight weeks. PediaSure, for growth you can be sure of. Hello ladies and welcome to episode 7. I'd like to chat today about the positives coming out of all of this and how we can perhaps use this time to even make some money for ourselves in the longer term. So the first thing that we know is obviously we're saving on petrol and transport costs because we're not traveling to work. We also, many of us, would be stopping at the shop on the way home to buy a few things um, and that often leads to impulse buying as well and we're not doing that anymore. We're having to plan our shopping a lot more carefully because grocery shopping is something we can't just go and do at a whim. So all of this will actually be saving us money at the end of the day. And a lot of us have the time to actually sit and plan, plan our meals, plan what we're going to buy instead of this rush, rush, rush and just grab everything off the shelf and end up spending a lot more than we plan to spend. We're obviously saving money on entertainment, on going out um, and on all those other things that we used to spend money on before. Then a very interesting thing that actually, an opportunity that has arisen or is arising for us, spending time at home. This is the ideal time to declutter your home and to look for things that you no longer need that you can actually convert into cash. So somebody told me a while ago that she actually started on the one corner of her house and worked her way right through the house and ended up, she called it I think a Swedish death clean, something like that, but ended up with about 7,000 Rand that she generated. She just sold everything on Gumtree and made this cash. So we all have a lot of stuff sitting around that we don't use. And this is a great time to be, you know, be productive and to do something about it. If you're not working from home as some people are, but if you have the time, it's a great opportunity. So why not start and go through everything? Everything that you don't need, declutter. There's also this wonderful, wonderful concept that when you remove things, when you create space in your life, you're opening up, you're getting rid of things, you're creating space for new and wonderful things to enter into your life and into your area and your space. So declutter, set everything aside, have a corner maybe in one room or in the garage or somewhere where you can put everything that you don't need and then once things are back to normal and society is functioning again, you can actually advertise these items and you can then start selling them. The other interesting good thing that's coming out of all of this is that you know we know that memories build happiness and not stuff and we're forced to spend time together with families. We're forced to actually get back to basics, to do simple things together. Um, and these are times that will build memories. So again, it's a mind shift change and an opportunity for us to, to learn perhaps, to maybe learn from this experience and do things differently going forward. And really focus less on accumulating things and thinking that spending makes us happy, knowing that in fact, spending time with family, creating memories with family, those are the things that make us happy. So let's look at the positives of this and take care and look after yourselves. Till next time. Feeling stressed, depressed, or just need better rest? Improve your mood with Emozac, a herbal supplement containing Iranian saffron that delivers results in just 15 days. Mummies, my name is still Nugumo Sweater, and I hereby welcome you to yet another episode of Sanitization of the Mind with Nugumo Sweater. So, mummies, have you thought of life after lockdown? What are you going to do after lockdown? What is it that you're going to do differently after the lockdown? Are you going to maybe start walking more because that's what i've decided i'm gonna do after the lockdown i decided that i'm gonna start walking more you know the other days i was going to 
the pharmacy, I noticed just how many beautiful parks we have, you know, in my neighborhood. And I started thinking that mm -mm, I need to start walking. I need to start walking a lot so that I can appreciate the beauty of nature. Laziness must fall. Another thing that I think, uh, especially if you're a single mother, ne? if you're a single mother and you have been uh, dreading the subject of falling in love because maybe you want to protect your children or maybe you feel like if you meet someone, how are you going to juggle motherhood and, you know, a relationship? Life is too short. You have seen, you have seen ne? that any time can be child time. So... I want you to go out there, pursue those love interests, eh? pursue them, fall in love, fall in love, fall head over heels in love, go crazy, fall in love, fall in love, I want you to fall in love, I want you to have, you know, like those midnight chats over WhatsApp, like just talking about nothing, you know, like, you know how uh, some networks will give you free power hour, after 12 o'clock, I want you to have power hour with your phone and then another power hour with his phone. Mummies, I want you to fall in love. I want, you, I want you to go crazy. I want you to tip more in restaurants. Because have you realized that when you are in love, you, you just become a generous person? Hmm? You just become a generous person. I want you to, to, to wake up on the right side of the bed every single day. Have you noticed that when you are in love, every day is a beautiful day? Hmm, the beds, they sing so nicely. You know, the leaves, as they shake on the tree, you feel like, yo, it's God. Maybe blowing you kisses. It, it just feels good. And you just become a, a, a person who is a nice person generally. I want you to fall in love. Uh -uh. No, no, I want you to wake up every day on a positive note, you know, jumping like a spring chicken, making breakfast while you are dancing and whistling. I want you to fall in love, please, after this lockdown. And I really hope to see you, all the Momspiration members in Cape Town, Deben and Jovega again this year. <laughs> For a wide range of pure organic CBD products, choose Rethink CBD. Choose your dosage of scientifically formulated pure CBD isolate in daily oils, capsules, teas and shots for less stress, sleepless nights and discomfort. Rethink CBD is endorsed by the Cannabis Research Institute of South Africa. Choose Rethink CBD. Moms, welcome to episode 7 of Mumspiration During Lockdown. This morning I woke up with the overwhelming feeling of loneliness. This lockdown and isolation we're all experiencing can really heighten that emotion of loneliness in many of us. We not only need enough sleep, the right foods, exercise to feel happy and healthy, but we also need social connection. We're social creatures and we need that human connection to feel happy and healthy. So lockdown can really wreak havoc on our health. Meditation has been scientifically proven to cancel out the detrimental emotional, physical, and mental effects of loneliness. So today I have an exercise, a breathing and meditation exercise to help you combat loneliness whenever you're experiencing this overwhelming feeling. Get comfortable in your seat Close your eyes and start to focus on your breath. With each breath, feel yourself relax deeper into your body and allow the mind to still. Continue to breathe evenly and deeply throughout this exercise. Gently take your hands to your heart and your chest area as you feel the rise and fall of the chest with each breath, the beating of your heart as you breathe evenly and deeply. Then start to take your awareness to feelings of loneliness inside of your body. Notice where you feel the loneliness in your body. Notice what sensations are attached to that feeling of loneliness. Does it have a texture, a color? Does it have a weight? What does loneliness feel like inside of your body? 
then allow your breath to wash over that loneliness. And as you breathe in, silently say to yourself, may I be happy. As you breathe out, may I be loved. As you breathe in, may I be released of all my suffering. And as you breathe out, may I be at peace. Continue to breathe, allowing the breath to wash over the feelings of loneliness until you feel that you've made enough space inside of your body to hold the feeling of loneliness so that it doesn't overwhelm you. Thank you all so much for allowing me to share some of my tools and tips that I use for myself and my family to help me when things are tough. I wish you a healthy and positive rest of lockdown and I look forward to seeing you soon. Stay safe. Did you know there are many benefits to feeding your cat Pamper Wet Cat Food? With higher protein from fresh meat and lower carbs than dry food, together with balanced minerals and extra moisture, Pamper Wet makes it easier to maintain an ideal weight and helps to support urinary health. Plus, it's available in a variety of delicious tastes and textures that even the pickiest eaters will love. Choose Pamper, South Africa's leading wet cat food brand. Brand Power, helping you buy better. Hello mums, it's Sharona D. We are coming in for a landing. It has been a remarkable journey with you. We've shared a lot. You have listened to the voices of phenomenal and remarkable women. What does your growth look like? I hope that you've jotted down some notes. If you haven't, go and do so now. Write down the aha moments, the moments that you've discovered for yourself. What does your growth look like? Maybe there's a tip or a trick that you've heard from one of the speakers. I hope that you've made notes. And now what is the next step? So you see as a motivator, it's not just to inspire and to bring hope, but it's to mobilize you to the next step. So here's a challenge that I'd like to say to you. Go into Google and type Canva, C-A-N-V-A. It's a social media design platform and you can log in using either your Google or your Facebook account or your email address. Go to a Facebook or Instagram template. Go and see what grabs your fancy. What does your brand as a mom look like? How do you want to share these learnings with others? And you know what? Don't fall into the trap of comparison. You know, comparison steals creativity. This is your thing, it's your fragrance. If you love gardening, if you love design, if you are, are the person that loves just um, always being there to hear when someone has, has an issue that loves counseling, or maybe you like me who loves helping people grow, then those are the snippets that will come out in your posts. Canva is easy, you just have to look at the design in front of you, click, it's got lovely images that you can use. Go and hashtag momspiration. And we would love to see how you've grown, how it's gone into a mobilization. Um, hashtag the speakers, um, hashtag the people that brought this to you. And let's see together that, that the growth didn't stop here now, that it's continuing. And then reach out to a family, a friend, a neighbor via telephone. Don't, don't, don't go there because um, you'll get into trouble. But growth is about sharing in a community. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to share with you. And um, let's just quickly recap. Validation must fall. Conflict, have those deep water conversations. Always keep it real, be authentic. Don't be shamed. Um, if you have addictions or struggles, bring it to the light. See how we can help you. Reach out to people who are experts in those fields. Joy will come. I know that in the midst of COVID-19, it feels like joy is a dream, but growth isn't. Hope that you've enjoyed this time with us. Take care. <laughs>